Oh my gosh, you guys snuck up on me. Hey, it's Michael Carbonaro. Thank you for watching tonight's episode of The Carbonaro Effect, and I'm gonna answer your questions utilizing my portable telephone. Thanks for writing these in. Uh, Kara is asking us, me, where'd you get that yellow cat shirt? <sighs> is it real or did you make it for the show? We, I did make it for the show. Um, I think I said, Oh, well, you remember, well, probably not remember, but that all those shirts, like roller skating shirts from the 70s had like that glitter iron on kind of a print. I said, make a cat shirt that looks terrible. You know, like something that no one would want to wear. And of course, by the time it was done, it's like something everybody wants to wear. So I didn't even get to keep that. Where is that shirt? Thank you for writing. I'm gonna find out where that is. I want that cat shirt. Meow. Love the cat shirt. It had sparkly edges. Okay. Uh, Tim says, you can tell I like cats. Uh, Tim says, do you like that that girl videotaped you doing the boa trick? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. You can do it. it. No, no, if you do it again. Okay, we'll do it with a, we'll try the red and black. Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah? Yes, you know, that's funny. It's like she's there watching me, yet she's watching through her phone a trick that happened through the phone. It actually gave us an idea for a, an episode that's coming up, which you'll see. Uh, we do something with an ice sculpture. You'll, you'll see. It's funny when people watch something, but yet watch it through a screen. It happens like all over. So we took advantage of that. Yeah, I like that you did that. It sparked an idea. Vicky says, how big is your crew? Kind of a personal question. Uh, <laughs> Vicky, our crew is, uh, we, it's, it's big. There's like, uh, thousands of people hiding under every corner of every area of the store if it looks like I'm alone thousands hundreds of thousands of people no we have like um, there's like gosh I don't even know I can't count I'm not good at those things if you showed me a theater and someone says how many seats is this is inside this theater I'd be like I don't know 100 500 I don't know stop asking me difficult questions I wasn't good at math they told me I wasn't gonna have to do math when I went to theater school there would be no more math okay I'm sweating <laughs> stop it don't like math. Okay, all right. Candy says, hi Candy. You have a pretty extensive backstory. Oh, you had a pretty extensive backstory for the statue and crown, right? Does that help sell the trick? Yes. Okay, and uh, Christian says, are you ever amazed by the things people believe? All of the time, every single show that we perform, it's amazing what people will believe. You know, the guy who believed that I hatched a, uh, a dinosaur egg in this episode. And what's so funny about it was, you know, we were trying to get a whole bunch of different lizards that had the right temperament, and we ended up with the uh, iguana, which we're like, is this gonna be too much, like, don't people know what an iguana is, and isn't he just gonna call it out for being an iguana, which he did, but then this story came up that maybe this was the very first iguana. Well, yeah, there were dinosaurs at some point, they evolved, right, but. Yeah, like maybe this grows to like a huge iguana. Maybe they were like iguanosaurs. You know, here we were afraid that someone might just be like, come on, that's an iguana, what are you doing? But they're, they're in it, they're in that story and they believe those things if we play them right. So I'm amazed every single time. That's why I love getting to do it. And I love that you get to watch it. So thank you so much for your questions. Please feel free to write more into hashtag AskMichaelCarbonaro on Twitter or write them in on the Carbonaro Effect Facebook page. And thanks for keeping on watching and we'll see you next time.